Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back. In today's video, I have a drugstore haul. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a little haul. I am so excited to have some new makeup to play with. There is a fly getting around in here. So, you better watch it. Recently, I did a little online shop with me at Priceline and I picked up a few goodies. I've also been into store a few times, grabbed a few things as well. So if you're excited to see everything I picked up, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay, starting off with something that I picked up this morning. It is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation. Now, I am still unsure if they are getting rid of the original Superstay foundation, this one here. This has been an absolute holy grail foundation of mine. And I actually had someone comment recently saying, can you send me the link? I can't see it on Priceline's website. And so I noticed it wasn't there. And then I noticed it wasn't in stores, like the shelves were starting to get empty. And then I saw today that they released this version. So this one says it lasts for 30 hours. Whereas the original Superstay is only 24. The claims do seem to be pretty similar. Full coverage and long lasting. A matte finish and oil free. Okay, so this one here is the original 24 hour Superstay in 03 Ivory. This is the new 30 hour in 03 Ivory. And this is 02 naked ivory. I really hope it's as long lasting as the original Superstay because that foundation is so good and I really hate when they mess with something and stuff it up. So fingers crossed I haven't stuffed this up. Another product from Maybelline that I picked up is their Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This one though I didn't pick up from Priceline because as per usual Priceline and Australia in general just doesn't get all the shades. So this powder actually comes in 05 Fair, whereas in Australia, I'm pretty sure the lightest is either 10 or 15, like light or something like that. And I did buy it and try it out and it's way too dark. Whereas this shade here is absolutely perfect. So I picked this one up off of iHerb and it was still pretty affordable. Let me see if I have my little email here. Yeah, so it was only $11.16. I'm positive that's cheaper than what it is at Priceline. It's just such a beautiful powder. It leaves a really nice smooth finish. It does have more of a neutral undertone as well. So it's not really pink, which works well for me. All right, so jumping back to Priceline, I picked up a few products from Essence. First up is the Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder, and this is in the shade Lighter Skin. Actually, I don't think it's in the shade Lighter Skin. It says Lighter Skin on the front, but then on the back it says 01 Natural. Anyway, I actually thought that this... There's that fly. I actually thought that this shade looked like it could work quite well for me. It does have a slight bit of warmth. It does have a bit of warmth to it, but it's not overly orange. And the formula does look very smooth. Now I've recently fallen in love with the Essence Contouring Duo and it's a beautiful, smooth and blendable formula. So I'm hoping that this is the same. Next, I picked up one of their blushes. This is in the shade 60 Beaming. It says it's a silky smooth powder blush lasts all day and it's buildable. I just thought that this was a really nice shade. I think it'll work well for my skin tone. I did previously have an Essence blush. Let me actually check. This is the Matte Touch Blush. And this one was in the shade Peach Me Up. So this is the old one, Peach Me Up, and the new one, Beaming. I just love seeing Essence come out with new products and new shades in their products. And they really do have some great products. So that's why I like to give them a go. And if I really love them, I can recommend them to you because they're so affordable. Another product I picked up from Essence is one of their single eyeshadows, and this is in the shade 14 Flirting. I thought this would be great as an everyday shadow. I do like to wear something along my lower lash line and occasionally on the lid as well, but I don't like to go for anything too heavy when I'm going to work, and I thought that this shade would be perfect just to add a little bit of something to the eyes. I'm really digging this packaging as well. I think it's really nice for such an affordable brand. It feels quite sturdy and it just looks nice, you know? And then a product from Essence that I have fallen in love with. Absolutely 
in love with it is the Tiny Tip Precise Brow Pen. Now, if you've been around my channel for a while, you would know how obsessed I am with the Emco Beauty Feathering Touch Brow Pen, previously the MAC version and the Urban Decay, but it is so nice that some more affordable brands are coming out with products like this because these are freaking amazing. So this one here is a felt tip, and as you can see, it has the most tiniest little tip on it. It is so perfect for drawing tiny little strokes in your brows. I did use it today. If you wanna see how I did my brows, I will link it in my chatty get ready with me, but see how they just look so bushy and hairy? It's all in the pen. It's all in the pen. So at Priceline, it comes in two shades. I have medium brown and there's also a dark brown, but on the Essence website, so I'm not sure if you can purchase straight off that if you're in like the US or something, but there is a lighter shade called Blonde. I would like to try that one, although the medium brown does work pretty well. This product is only $5 and I am just freaking in love with it. It is amazing. Next, I picked up something from Milani. Now, it was really exciting that Milani did come to Priceline, but I feel as like the range is just so small. It's so small. So anyway, I picked up this Most Wanted eyeshadow palette in the shade Partner in Crime. I feel like it looks a little bit different to what it does online, and I still can't tell if these are mattes or shimmers. I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get out of this palette, but I really wanted to pick one up and try out the formula and let you guys know if I rate it or not. These little Most Wanted palettes do come in a few different color stories, so there are some different options to choose from. I don't know, I'm just not as excited about that that as I thought I would be. That's all right. The next product I am so excited about, and it is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint Blush Mousse. Who names these things, seriously? I picked up the shade Baby Doll, and this one does come with a doe foot applicator, which I thought was quite interesting. So let me just swatch it. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, that is pink. Holy shit, I literally googled swatches. Oh my god, that is so pink. Shit. All right, let me just blend it out. Okay, I used a lot. Look, I do like a bright blush, but holy hell. Oh, oh, damn it. Online shopping for makeup is very hard, but at the moment, because of COVID, you can't swatch products in store. So I don't know, I don't know. I'll give it a go. We'll see what the formula's like. Hopefully the color works well for me because I was really excited about this product. I swear it looks like more peachy online. Next, I picked up another brow product and this one is by Revolution. It's called the Bushy Brow Pen. And I was very intrigued when I saw this online. Now online, it looked like it was going to be like the brow pens that I am loving, but the tip just looked like it was an angled kind of brush tip. Ooh, it looks, looks quite orange. So I would use it to draw strokes like this, kind of like up like that to draw the strokes in my brows. Okay, it's dried down as a darker color. Ooh, I think this could work quite well. <gasps> I'm just in love with brow pens lately, hey? And then lastly, I have two products here from Designer Brands Cosmetics. These were sent to me in PR and I am loving the look of them. I had to share. First up is the Shimmering Body Oil. Now, I have never been one to use a body oil. I just, I don't know, never thought of buying one. But I did test this out on my leg earlier, and even though it is a gold shade, it doesn't leave a dark gold tint. It's quite translucent, it's really beautiful. It's a really lightweight oil, it feels a lot better than I imagined. It feels very moisturizing on the skin. I've literally swatched it in the worst spot. But as I said, I did swatch it on my leg earlier and it just left the most beautiful sheen. I am really excited to test that out some more. And lastly, I have the Center Stage Mascara. The packaging of this is absolutely beautiful and the wand looks really interesting too. It has quite a curve to it. I don't think I've tried many designer brands mascaras before, so hopefully it's good. These products by designer brands are limited edition though, so if you did want to check them out, 
do that now. All right, well, that is all for my drugstore haul. If you enjoyed watching, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Make sure you leave me a comment letting me know which products you would be interested in seeing a review on first. I really want to test them all out, so let me know what you want to see first. I am seriously running out of brain power, so I've got to go, but I hope you all enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Make sure you also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok if you aren't already, and I hope that I will see you all in the next one. Bye.